हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे टॉपिक इज मॉइस्चर सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ एसफाल्ट मिक्सचर मॉइस्चर डैमेज ऑफ एसफाल्ट पेमेंट इज ए सीरियस इशू मेजरमेंट ऑफ द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ ए स्पेसिफिक मिक्स टू मॉइस्चर इज ए चैलेंज एंड द सेम टाइम द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ ए मॉइस्चर सेंसिटिविटी टेस्ट इज ऑल्सो ए ग्रेट चैलेंज Moisture damage can be defined as the loss of strength and durability in asphalt mixtures due to the effects of moisture. And to fully understand the moisture damage problems, it is important to address both the chemical factors and the mechanical factors responsible for moisture damage. The chemical factors affect the interaction of asphalt molecules with the aggregate surface and how the interaction changes in the presence of water. The physical issues are mainly concerned with ways to reduce the access of water to the asphalt aggregate interface and there are several mechanisms which have been postulated to explain the moisture induced damage in a pavement these are adhesion failure between asphalt and aggregate which we call the stripping the cohesion failure within asphalt the cohesion failure within aggregates spontaneous spontaneous emulsification pore pressure and hydraulic scour i will discuss each of these in brief the adhesion failure or the stripping is the process where the bond between the asphalt and aggregate is broken by the action of water this process is based on a chemical phenomenon where water molecules alter the interactions between the asphalt and the aggregate surface aggregates have a higher affinity for water than for asphalt and are more readily wetted by water than asphalt adhesion in asphalt and aggregate interaction is generally defined as the formation of a chemical bond between asphalt and the aggregate and water will penetrate through asphalt by osmosis and the rate will depend upon the thickness of the asphalt film and the pressure difference across the asphalt film in general softer grades are more permeable to water because of lower viscosity the second is cohesion failure within asphalt the bond between asphalt molecules is described as cohesion and it is possible that this bond can be broken if water is trapped in air wires and the temperature of the pavement increases the evaporation of water will build enough pressure to rupture the asphalt film it will lead to the disruption of the bond between the asphalt molecules the third is cohesion failure within aggregate some researchers propose that cohesive failure within the aggregate could cause moisture damage and it is suggested that the amount of moisture damage by this phenomenon is directly related to the solubility of the aggregate stripping can also happen because of spontaneous emulsification spontaneous emulsification is an inverted emulsion of water droplets in asphalt cement and this could possibly be a reason for stripping especially when mineral clays or certain types of asphalt additives are present this mechanism will weaken the asphalt to asphalt bond due to the presence of water in the asphalt but emulsification of asphalt requires high temperature and high shear which are unusual in a hot mix pavement and therefore this is not a very common phenomenon for stripping in asphalt pavement then comes pore pressure pore pressure development in water that is entrapped can lead to distress stress is imparted to the entrapped water from repeated traffic load applications will worsen the damage as the continued build up in pore pressure disrupts the asphalt film from the aggregate surface or can cause the growth of micro cracks in the asphalt mastic here understand the concept of passivum air wires these are the air wires which within which most asphalt mixes are typically compacted it is generally in the range of 8 to 10% above this level the air wires become interconnected and moisture can flow out under traffic load and below this level the air wires are disconnected and are relatively impermeable and do not become saturated with water 
in the maximum range of air wires water can enter the wires but cannot escape freely and over pressure develops due to repeated loading which may ultimately lead to stripping hydraulic scour is also considered as the reason for stripping it occurs at the pavement surface here stripping results from the action of tires on a saturated surface water is sucked under the tire into the pavement by the tire action osmosis and pull back have been suggested as possible mechanisms of scour osmosis occur in the presence of salt or salt solutions in aggregate pores and creates an osmotic pressure gradient that actually sucks water through the asphalt film there are a number of methods for evaluating the moisture sensitivity of a mix the effectiveness of a particular method is dependent on the local conditions and the local materials the most commonly used methods are indirect tensile strength test or its test boil test hamburg test and immersion compression test which is also known as retained stability test its or indirect tensile strength test is the most common test procedure for evaluating the moisture sensitivity of an asphalt mixtures and this method is given in asto t283 and astm d4867 the method given in asto t283 is also called modified lotman test and that given in astm is called root tonic lift test in its test the sample is loaded in tension and the failure load is used to determine the indirect tensile strength of the mix for determining the tensile strength ratio of an asphalt mixture six marshall specimens are prepared at 7% air wires these specimens are allowed to cool to room temperature for 2 hours then these six specimens are divided into two subsets of three specimen each one set is conditioned as per asto t283 and for conditioning the specimen is partially saturated by submerging it in water and applying a vacuum for certain time i have uploaded a video on this topic of its and tsr and you can watch it for details of this test its is measured for conditioned as well as unconditioned specimen and then tsr is estimated using this equation this is the its of conditioned specimen divided by its of unconditioned specimen multiplied by 100 and different agencies have specified different acceptance criteria but 0.8 is the most acceptable value boil test it is given in astm d3625 this is a quick and easy visual indication of chemical incompatibility between the asphalt binder and aggregate in, in this procedure a sample of loose asphalt mixture is placed in boiling water for 10 minutes and then removed and the extent of retained asphalt coating on the aggregate is then reported the boil test is an example of a loose mix test and it is used to characterize the bonding between the asphalt and aggregate that is adhesion test run on compacted samples are used to characterize not only adhesion property but also the cohesion properties still it is a quick test to screen the aggregate sources then comes hamburg test as given in asto t324 field tracking test with the compacted sample submerged in water have become more popular in recent years for evaluating moisture sensitivity this test evaluates for rutting and moisture sensitivity in asphalt mixes by using a steel wheel that repeatedly tracks a specimen under water at a specified temperature and this temperature is generally 40 to 60 degrees centigrade during the test a specimen deformation is recorded as a function of the number of loading cycles the stripping slope and stripping inflection point are considered 
some indicator of the susceptibility of the mixture to moisture damage. And the last is immersion compression test as given in ASTO T165 and ASTM D1075. This is also popularly known as retained stability test. Now here, six Marshall specimens are compacted to targeted air wires and then these are divided into two subsets. One set is conditioned and another set is unconditioned. The conditioned subsets specimens are placed in water bath for 24 hours at 60 degrees centigrade. At the end of this conditioning period, the specimens are placed in a water bath for 2 hours at 25 degrees centigrade to bring them to the test temperature. Unconditioned subset specimens are maintained at room temperature until immediately before the start of the compression test. Immediately before testing, the unconditioned subset of a specimen is adjusted to 25 degrees centigrade by either environmental chamber or a water bath. Then these specimens are tested for Marshall stability. The retained stability is calculated using this equation, stability of conditioned specimen divided by stability of unconditioned specimen in 200. And the requirement of retained stability is also different in different countries or different regions. If the mixture fails in moisture sensitivity test, then there are entry stripping agents available in the market. We can add a small amount of these additive or hydrated lime to improve the adhesion between aggregate and the asphalt. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any suggestion, write in the comment box.